Yo, yo, yo. Sorry if that intro was delayed or if I started it too early. I don't really have a uh, thing telling me, hey, you know, you're recording. So, uh, yeah, so um, I think I'm going to turn this into a series. Depends how much you guys like this. But this series is called Storytime, and I uh, tell a story, you know. There you go. That's what I'm doing. So... Uh, yeah, we have, uh, we're doing this. I think I'm gonna turn it into a series. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a playlist so you guys can watch them all. It might be easier. I don't know. Um, I'm just really not gonna make them playlists. But, uh, yeah. So, what we are doing, uh, so this is just a story that happened around two years ago, one year ago. Um, and I'm just gonna start off. And, uh, it's pretty freaking crazy, so let me set this out. So, me and my my friend was over at my house, and uh, I'm not going to say who, but my friend was over, and uh, we were doing prank calls. We were doing uh, Target, or Alex from Target, and then we decided to do, I don't know what, from Walmart. Uh, I can't remember the exact details, but, you know, we were just prank calling some people, just dialing random numbers, um... Dialing the random numbers, uh, yeah, just dialing some random numbers, but yeah, uh, just dialing some numbers, seeing if it was a number that anyone would pick up. Now, by the way, we weren't uh, using like a phone or the SIM card, so it wasn't costing us anything. All free, thanks to uh, Text Plus. Um, it's not, we're not sponsored. This video is not sponsored by Text Plus, but uh, that's what we were using to call. So it wasn't actually a real phone number; it was just a randomly generated one. So. Um, so we, uh, ended up calling a number, right, and, uh, so we did, I think, Herbert the Pervert, right, one time, then I used her phone with Text Plus, of course, and, uh, did Alex, er, yeah, Alex from Target, and then we had the great idea to, uh, call a third time with, uh, my iPod again, and when we pick up, we hear... Yeah, I have their phone numbers right here, right? So we're just like, yo, what the flip is going on here? So uh, we do another prank. Some Someone from Walmart, I can't remember who. Um, uh, I won't say, you know, what the prank call was because, you know, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so, oh, uh, I got a throat pain. So, yeah, uh. So, yeah, we called, and, uh, so, we heard him talking, they're just like, yeah, they called three times, they're praying, calling, we are just like, oh no, they're getting, like, some sort of serial killer on us, a, a hitman, something. So, we got super scared, kept going with the prank, and then, the next thing we hear, I have the RCMP on the phone, now, if you don't know what that is, um, it's, uh, the, one of the Canadian police forces and, uh, military force, I guess you could call them, and, uh, they all, they only use horses, right? When they ride around, they only use horses, old guns. So, yeah, we heard that, and we were just like, oh, flip, like, what's going down? We got the RCMP after us just because of a friendly prank call. So, uh, we uh, immediately, uh, pressed, uh, Hank, we hung up. And, uh, we just waited for a little bit, we were just like, oh, she, dude, we just got caught by the freaking RCMP. So, uh, we just kept waiting. And then, uh, we get a call from a number we don't know. I won't say the number, but, uh, it wasn't the RCMP officer that was on her phone. She was just like, hello, I have a prank call, uh, uh it was a girl, a uh, prank call... I guess complaints, I guess you could call it, I don't know, um, a 5461, no scope, <laughs> just kidding, um, but yeah, so, uh, so, okay, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, but, uh, yeah, so, we, you know, I talked to him, and then I said, what's your name, I, s no, the best thing I could come up with was, um, Jack, Right? Jack. And, uh, so I said Jack, and then she asked for my last name, and I was just like, oh, flip. 
I don't know any very popular last name, so I just said Jack Adams. I don't know. That's a really weird name, but I, di I didn't want to give them my name, you know, just in case they somehow found my grandmother's email and told them, because we were really scared, you know. But that's actually happened quite a long time ago. I told her I was going to do this story. She was like, okay, so it's all good. I won't get beat with a bed mattress after this. But anyway, so after that happened, uh, you know, uh, when I asked our name, we hung up right after. We were just like, oh, shoot, dude. And they were just like, wait, hold on. We just hung up on a RCMP officer. So we called him back. We were just like, I'm so sorry. We didn't mean to do anything, like, you know, what anyone would do to not get a fine or whatever. So we are just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I, was, I didn't mean to do anything. I was... Just me and my friend were just having some fun. We said, I'm sorry. So <laughs> he said, that's all right. And I was just like, oh, we'll never do it again. I'm just, you know, norm. We haven't done it again. We haven't done another prank call. But, yeah. So we hung up after that. And uh, we both turned off our phones, like, completely. We just sat there for uh, a couple minutes just talking. And then after, we are just like, okay, it's all chill now. But for the next, like, week, I was just like, oh, no. What if they send my grandmother an email? So it was actually the Ontario RCMP. So it wasn't anywhere as real remotely close. Um, so, you know, I was uh, kind of weird. So I'm actually going to put uh, two stories in one because this is the first one I've done now. I can't prom promise I'm going to do be doing these things a lot because I don't really have those crazy stories. Uh, not many because, you know, I'm only 10. Y'all don't know that. But, yeah, so, uh, another story that happened that's crazy. Um, huh, oh, this one's actually quite recent. Um, so, yeah, this one's actually real recent. So, uh, like, this was, like, two days ago kind of stuff. Um. This one's pretty flipping crazy, alright? So I was at uh, a friend's house, again, uh, the one that was in the last story I just told you guys. Uh, same person, I was at her her house, so it is a her, but, uh, you know, she had a friend there. It's, you know, nothing like that, guys. But, um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so, uh, when me, so we were just hanging out, and, um, the first time I get there, right, I didn't leave, come back, leave, come back. I, I'm not that kind of person, you know. But anyway, um, so I got there, you know, yo, what's up? But there was actually another dude there. Now I'm saying that that's not a good thing, but he was actually just leaving. And so um, he asked me how long am I staying, I said around 4 o'clock. But apparently they were uh, lying to him. They said uh, 2 o'clock or 2.15 or something. When I was leaving, it was like 1.30 when I got there, I think. Uh, a, uh, p.m., of course, not in the morning. But, uh, so yeah. Um, I got there, you know, we chilled out, talked a little, and then, uh, Michael. Okay. That's his name, but I'm not telling you his last name. I just flipped up, I'm sorry. His name was Krikel. Yep, Krikel's the name. <laughs> Krikel. <laughs> Y'all already know, but I'm still gonna go with Krikel. Hopefully you guys didn't hear. It's, it's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Krikel, I leaked your name on the internet. <laughs> anyway, so Krikel, um, he left, and uh, so he came back. We were just, he was actually, he didn't really come back. He just went outside. We thought, okay, he left. But actually, he was just sitting on a chair outside. And I'm just like, wait, hold on. What the flip's going on now? So, um... We're, uh, they went outside and they're saying like, hey, my mom said you have to go. Could you actually go? So uh, he went after, you know, a little bit. But actually, secretly, when they were lying to him, you know, when I said, oh, yeah, 4 o'clock, apparently he started crying because uh, apparently he started crying because they lied to him of a time. So, yeah, man. So, anyway, y'all you, can call him whatever you want. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, we, um, so you know, he laughed, we're just like, okay, and then they have the best idea to, so, um, she has, you know, okay, I'll say one thing, he is, <clears throat> I, uh, maybe I shouldn't say, uh, I gotta say it for the story's sake, 
Um, he is gay. He is. He is homo. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, so they said, you know what? Let's prank him with my fake boyfriend, cause you know she did a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So fake boyfriend, right? His name is Jake. So um, I actually, th what they did is they uh, put me in a closet, right? Closed the, uh, put like blocked it off with a mirror, and so. I was in there, and she, they said, oh, yeah, I want you to text me and pretend that you're Jake, you know, the fake one, Jake. Um, you know, it's nothing like that, guys. It's not like, you know, it's nothing like that. You know, we're just good friends. No one since preschool. But anyway, so, yeah, um, we, uh, you know, all right, I'll do it. I mean, I don't really want to hide in the closet just in case, you know, he opens it. So, uh, one of them fakes... And says, hey, Jake is here, and Julian is gone. So, right now, I'm still in the house, and I'm acting as Jake, if you guys are confused. So, I'm acting as Jake right now, uh, which is uh, pretty flippin' crazy. So, uh, Julian's acting as Jake. Julian acting as Drake. There you go. I'm just kidding. So I'm getting sidetracked. Um, so, anyway, uh, so, I was in the closet. I was doing what they wanted me to do, you know, texting, and, uh, so, um, yeah, that wasn't really, um, my gameplay, um, 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 Okay, well, now you know that I use, uh, gameplay from YouTube, because I don't, I'm sorry guys, but it's just so you guys, uh, have something to watch, you know, I don't mean to steal people's content, but it's just for you guys to watch while I'm doing this, I'm so sorry that you guys had to see that, but then, I'm sorry, that's kind of, uh, embarrassing, but anyway, so, Okay, where was I? Yeah, we were texting, and they were just like, Jake, bang on the uh, closet door if you're there. He's just like, no, that's Julian, and they just keep, and then he gives in. He says, okay, yeah, maybe it's Jake. But then they don't ask any questions, and I'm just, you know, doing what they want me to do. Just keep texting her, right? Uh, acting like her boyfriend, like we're not. Like, I just want to get that out of the way, just acting like it. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh. I'm getting sidetracked. So, yeah. Uh, I keep saying so, yeah, a lot. I just realized that. So, um, you know, we are, uh, oh, we're do they're doing what we want me to do. And then I hear this guy. He's just like, yo, Julian is, like, the worst person ever. He's like, oh, he's this, he's that, you know. Like, be really mean to me. But I can't say anything, right? Because I'm supposed to be Jake. I'm not supposed to be mean. So, uh, I get pretty, you know. But I can't do anything about it, right? So I just keep doing it. They just keep talking about me and talking about me. And then, you know, since he's gay, <clears throat> you know, we, uh, they ask, hey, do you like, like him? He's just like, ew, no. You know, like, a gay person voice, you know, because he's, anyway. I just keep bringing that up a lot. I just want you guys to know that, right? So, um, yeah. So, <sighs> yeah, he leaves, right? That's what we think. So, I was, like, suffocating in that closet. There was no more air in there. So, I was just like, yo, kick him out. I gotta get out of this thing, you know. And, uh, she, she just, uh, she said, oh, what should I do? Uh, what should I say? And I said, uh, I told my mom that you came back and were hanging out. And she said, okay, it's time to leave. So, that's what she said to him. And so, he left. But, turns out, he didn't leave again. And then he heard, every, like, like the stuff I was saying about him. Because I was pretty angry at what he was saying about me. You know, call me a douche, you know, stuff like that. So, I, know, I was pretty angry. And I think he might have heard everything. But we have no idea if we heard, if he heard everything, if he barely heard anything. or We really don't know. So, uh, you know, we see, I see, I see his pink hair, right? He has pink hair. 
come up from the staircase because there's like a double door and to get to the very first door there is a uh oh i'm trying to there is a uh staircase so i see him walk up and i'm just like oh shoot dude he doesn't know that i'm here so i like charge into what used to be her bedroom closet right turns out it was her grandmother's and i was just like oh no like i gotta shut up stay in here so um they keep telling me what to do they keep running and stuff and uh so once he left again we were just so scared that he was going to come back. But that's pretty much the end of this freaking crazy story. I mean, I was in two closets for at least 30 minutes and, like, 15 minutes in both closets. It was crazy. It was super scary. I was just like, oh, shoot, dude, if he sees that I'm here, you know, I'm done. But at the end, I actually said, haha, it was Julian in the closet the whole time. So he literally, like, he sat there and started crying there, just like, get off. You know, they were being quite rude, but to be honest, I think he deserved it. I don't know. Maybe you guys just think I'm being the biggest booty hole right now. But, yeah. So, anyway, that will wrap it up for this uh, actual full episode. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy the story time. I'll try to do more. Uh, if you guys really want some, I'll try to I'll think really hard of some really crazy stories. I mean, I got one more, I think. But, uh, that's it. Uh, I got, I think one more story, but I don't know. If I actually think hard enough, I probably can think of a couple more. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Make sure to tell your friends to come check this out. And, uh, yeah, man. See ya.